I'm really looking forward to the game. Let me know in the comment section if you're as well. But that doesn't mean you can't get your hands on some Halo Infinite merchandise. So we're going to be taking a look at it uh, today. Excited about this, genuinely. In fact, let me just show you something that I've had for literally years. So here we have a Master Chief, but he's in red. And I've had this for ages. And all I've wanted in my life <laughs> is a Master Chief the correct color. Uh, this is a great sculpture, actually. Like, he's really cool. Uh, he's probably one of my most favorite statues I've got in my office. Uh, it's really cool. But like I said, it's kind of the wrong color. I want Master Chief. It's green. I want the green Master Chief. So I was really excited today when I found this. So this actually came from the delightful people at Game. And I only found out about it because someone on Twitter actually posted it. I kind of saw it by chance, but I'm so glad I did because it wasn't something that I ever saw really announced. But let's crack it open. Obviously, this is a Master Chief statue, uh, but I'm really excited about it because I love Halo and I cannot wait for Halo Infinite, despite the fact it's got delayed. And um, yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. So like I said, I'm really, really excited for Halo. I think it's going to be a great game. I'm really excited for the new console. We're actually going to be doing unboxings on this channel. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. I, like I said, I'm a huge Halo fan. Uh, I just <laughs> love me some Master Chief. I really hope Halo Infinite is good. Let me know if you think Halo Infinite is going to be good or not. Let's actually show you what's inside the box here. You guys are getting upset. Um, so, oh, a little sneak preview. Is a picture of the man himself. Okay, so for those of you that, if there was any question, this is for Halo Infinite. There we go. Freaking label, Master Chief. Statue. Oh, beautiful. And on the top as well. That's kind of cool. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Let's see what's on the back. So on the back here, you can see a very nice um, example of what we're looking at. It kind of looks similar to the size of the statue I had before. So you can see on the bottom here, Xbox 343 Industries and DarkHorse.com. I don't know who that is. Maybe that's the people that help with the statue. But, uh, oh, yeah, no, it's it's going to be cool. And obviously, I'm going to open it because I literally have zero interest in just keeping it in a box. If you buy it, like, I, I'm not going to sell it. So let's crack open the tape. It's no longer mint in box. It's now out of the box. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, baby. That looks so good. Right, so I'm going to put the box down. There's nothing else that comes with the box. No game with it or anything like that. To my uh, dismay, I'm so gutted. But let's take off the two plastic. It comes in like two halves, as you can see. So I'm going to pull off. Give you guys a view of this. So at the moment, there's some tape. So I'm going to remove the tape. Oh. Master Chief. Mr. Chief. He's the chief. Oh, wow. Look at that, dude. Okay. Okay. Oof. That is a really, like, I don't normally buy statues. Let's, let's get one thing clear. I don't normally buy statues. I'm not one of these guys that has 100 statues or anything. But when it comes to Master Chief... <laughs> comes halo like, i'm a bit of a f halo fanboy so i'm actually really pleased with that it looks really badass <laughs> that's so cool like it looks awesome you can see i'm like tilting it here for the camera but he's kind of stood on i don't know uh, it doesn't actually like I, I guess some kind of area this actual shape is actually quite similar to a lot of the structures we saw in the trailer there was a lot of these kind of uh you know high tower shape so that's kind of interesting that he's like that but they look so cool so in comparison to the other statue i've got i think he's actually slightly smaller um maybe yeah <laughs> but how cool does this look with two of them oh it looks so good so just for context this at this statue here the red one is a 2007 statue this one's obviously 2020 um but yeah so you got like the shape on the bottom there and obviously on the top. So it's a very consistent statue. I really like it. It's got like a metallic look on it as well. Uh, the materials feel good and the weight is there definitely. So if I was going to compare the two statues. So if you look, see if I can get them to where their heads are aligned. So 
the red one is slightly bigger. But overall, not really. Yeah, in terms of the colors, it's quite dark, but it's kind of in keeping. Like, I've got this little statue here. It's actually very reminiscent of this tiny little, I don't know, Lego statue or something that I, I actually got sent at some point from Xbox. This, FYI, for full disclosure, wasn't sent to me. Bought this with my own money. Um, but yeah, so I'm just really happy with the detail. Yeah, just overall, the statue <laughs> looks awesome. And I've been wanting a statue like this for a long time. Like I said before, I don't typically collect this sort of thing. Like I'm not, uh, you know, a collector or anything like that. Um, but I did off, like because I'm a fan of Master Chief, I did at some point buy this statue. And it remains to be a really freaking cool statue because of the dual pistol. I just, it, look, it looks pretty cool. But this, uh, it works really well. He looks freaking badass and it makes me really want to play halo infinite to the point where microsoft guys please <laughs> please release the game really happy with that um obviously i don't know what stock is like and i don't even know if you can get it where you are what one would you rather have the red or the green green team red team let me know in the comments uh oh it's kind of like amd versus uh no video. Interesting. Let's have a little close up. We see his gun. So in terms of the gun model, looks pretty, pretty good actually. I like. There's obviously multiple tones, lots of detail there. So I'm not sure why, but you know, on the camera here, this green looks a lot darker than this. And I wouldn't say in person, I I can actually notice that. I'm not sure why that's picking up on camera. But there's some f fantastic detail, like. On his leg, for example, you can see obviously it looks a little bit scratched. So it looks worn and it looks like it, like he's is actually using the suit he's wearing rather than like an Iron Man pristine. So in terms of detail, like even on his back, the, the like detail up here and stuff looks really cool. Um, so the scuff marks and the two-tone makes a big difference. And this statue from every angle looks really good one other thing as well i've just noticed here is it looks like they've used like a color wash from his uh armor on the base and that kind of gives the, i think it's meant to give the illusion of like freaking ray tracing i think that's literally what's going on here because this plate here is very metallic so if they if you imagine that sat down like so kind of looks like a reflection um of the armor on this very metallic um bottom here i imagine that's what's happened either that or they've been very messy with the paint um but i think it i think where they've placed it it's meant to simulate a reflection and i love that attention to detail i think that's really really cool and oh it's looking good so i i definitely recommend i mean if you're like me i know my friend shout out to my friend george who would be absolutely crying that he doesn't have this. Maybe I'll give it to you, George. <laughs> um, friend George is a massive Halo fan like me, but um, yeah, it's just super cool. Like I don't, like I say, I don't collect these. I don't have hundreds of statues behind me, um, but this is a one-off, very cool piece. So yeah, I'm excited for Halo when it comes out, when it finally drops. I don't know when that will be. I'm looking forward to it desperately, but Halo Infinite statue here, living up to expectations. So, ah, release the game. <laughs> it's going to be good. Um, guys, stay tuned on this channel. We've got, obviously, I know it's a bit frustrating for me personally as a startup channel because freaking everybody and their mums, tech channel wise, has already unboxed the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S. And, um, you know, even for me, I'm just waiting on my pre-order, basically. So I think they're coming in when they should be coming in. But the PlayStation 5, for example, in the EU isn't coming out until the 19th of November, which is later than the US. So my unboxing videos for these games and these consoles this time around is a little bit slow. Um, having said that, uh, it's it's OK. We're, we're, we're playing some video games. We're enjoying unboxing things like Halo Master Chief. He's freaking, he's the chief. He's chief. Yeah, you don't mess with the chief. Um, but there we go. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 
Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, hit subscribe because we do more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. You beautiful, beautiful people. Bye-bye.